Hi everyone, my name is Rita Crompton, President and CEO of Archimedes Offspring. Archimedes Offspring is the early stage funding mechanism for inventors. There is nothing else out there that will help the early stage inventor get from mine to market, from here to there. And so many of the things that they have access to are based on credit score, they're based on socioeconomic issues, they're based on things that the inventor just doesn't meet the criteria. None of them are based on the actual commercialization of the product, which is what we think it should be based on. So we are helping early stage inventors, you are helping early stage inventors get their product through the process. Now, on the inventor side, we're also mentoring so that when we're protecting the inventor, we're protecting you, the investor. We did a focus group um, a couple of months ago and the people who participated asked some very good questions. And one that we received most often was, why is there not a marketing plan for these products? It's because we're looking at inventors who know they want to license their intellectual property. What does that mean? It means that someone else is going to do the heavy lifting. For instance, a Danko. They have all the shelf space for, or the majority of shelf space, shelf space for plumbing products in all the Home Depots and Lowe's in North America. Well, we've got products that are licensed to them, and so we know, and we know the people. They're one of our industry experts. And what it means is they're going to manufacture it, they're going to market it, they're going to defend the patent, they're going to pay for the product liability insurance, and they're going to send us a check. So we don't need a marketing plan. They need the marketing plan. We don't have to know exactly what it's going to cost to make it. They're the ones who decide what it's going to cost to make it. So they take over that heavy lifting. All we have to do is get it teed up for them. What does that mean? It means that a patent has been filed. It means there's good design work there. It means there's sexy prototypes and sometimes a short run, all right, which means 500 to 1500 units depending on where the price points fall. So when we present to you and you say, where's the marketing plan? We don't, we don't need one because we're not doing the heavy lifting for the inventor. We're simply getting them teed up to hand off to someone else. Yay, that's good for us. All right, it means that we can have more products in the fund that we're teeing up and handing off. So when we go through our vetting, all right, we are actually then looking for those potential licensees right away. Again, when we are protecting the inventor, we are protecting you. When we're protecting you, we're protecting the inventor. One of the ways we protect you is that no inventor gets the funds directly. It all goes into like an escrow account. So vetted service providers are paid for the services they give us on any one project. Yay, all right, we're protecting you because we're paying attention to how the money is spent. We're protecting the inventor because we're paying attention to which service providers get used. Those are important things. One of the other things that we were asked is, when we say that we are protecting you, the investor, they all assumed it was like, well, all of the money is going into one project. No, it's not. There will be dozens of projects in any one fund. So you would end up owning a piece of the patent for maybe two dozen, three dozen different inventions. It protects you then if one fails, and inevitably, no matter how careful we are, something is going to fail, all right? But something else takes off like a rocket, and we benefit from that. You benefit from that. So we're really looking then at having multiple, like, kind of like a, a mutual fund, where we've got multiple projects in any one fund. We can have multiple funds. Some of them will focus on home health care. Some will focus on um, entertainment and family products. Others will focus on tools for the National Hardware Show. So we're really looking then at those consumer products. Another good thing is that we, are, we don't follow the stock market. There's no correlation, or at least very little. If the stock market roller coaster goes up and down, we're looking at consumer projects and how they perform, which has been pretty consistent even with the pandemic. Some have done better than others, but people still needed things. And so we did not see nearly the fluctuation in some of those things. Now, some of them are really hot and high demand. So again, when we're protecting the inventor, we're protecting you, the investor. When we're protecting the investor, we're protecting the inventor. It's a very interesting combination and a very exciting combination 
that doesn't exist out there anywhere. We are an innovative country. Our economy has been based on our ability to innovate. Well, it's gotten really complicated and really expensive. So now the only way inventors are going to get new products out there, which we all want to be able to buy, oh, we've got some in the pool right now. It's like, I can't wait to get my hands on that, is to be able to innovate and to be able to help them. So we need them. They need us. Archimedes Offspring, from mind to market, we're helping inventors reinvent America. Talk to you later.